Good to see you guys. Hey, Dan. Uh, man, what a cool day, and uh, one that I've been looking forward to of uh, the energy of bringing everybody together, um, all as one group. We, you know, we're here for the veteran camp. You saw some of the rookie camp, so to see that part come together, I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm excited to see some of the, the mentoring from, you know, veterans to some rookies. I'm also seeing, looking forward to seeing some of the rookies latch on to some. I think that that's a two-way street. But uh, all in all, it's a big passing emphasis um, as we go today. But we'll work some situations, and uh, we're ready to get rocking. So with all that said. Glad to open up to you guys to hit some questions as we're getting started. Hey, Dan, in terms of obviously we kind of get the gist of OTAs, but for the team as a whole, what's your kind of goal when you get through these three weeks for what you want to see, what kind of progress? Yeah, I think number one, um, big playbook, obviously, to put in and then little bits of it as you're going. And so like did some at veteran camp, did some with the rookies. And so this is an extension of that. In addition to, I don't think it's ever too early, Ben, to start on some situations. You know, here's a two minute and a half. Here's all the ones that come up. So we'll do that as often as we can. By nature, the OTA is more of a passing camp, and that's where the emphasis will be. And then in training camp, you know, there'll be some shifting on that. But uh, I'm looking for efficiency, I'm looking for speed, and really just the detail that's going into the calls. And just specifically at wide receiver, uh, I think we kind of have a sense of what Terry McLaurin is, but with the younger guys like Jahan and Diami, now Luke joining in, how do you kind of see that group? And what did you, with the, the two guys who were holdovers, what did you see from them last year? Yeah, what's fun about this is um, we want to get as many reps as we can. So you may even see it seven on seven today. We'll have two fields going at the same time. And the purpose behind that in a seven on seven setting is to get more reps for everyone. And the more you see, the more that you go. And I think as you're installing a new system, that's an important piece of this, just time on task and reps of it. So, um, but you're right, guys like Terry, who you've seen um, and the work ethic, what it is. So these are the, some cool moments to see what people can do. And then it's our job to find what special traits do they have and then see how we can feature them. And then you, you you brought up the, some of the veterans and being the rookies. When you have guys like Ertz and Eklund and all that, what do you hope that they start to impart to the young guys starting now? Yeah, I think first off is like these are the standards, you know, that we want to, you know, practice with. And so that was a discussion that they had all together beginning yesterday and some things, this is how we do business here. But if uh, you don't have to look too far to watch their practice habits, how they do things, you know, follow a process or a routine, that's what I'm looking for from those guys. They have to get their self ready, but by just doing what they do, that also, you know, can be a multiplier. And how about now from Jaden being with the vets and coming off the rookie minicamp? Yeah, I think number one, like you can see how hard he worked to get the system down and in place. And so that was evident through the camp. And so I'm excited for everybody else to see that, you know, to see the work ethic that goes into something like this. Because once you see the quarterback play in the position and the plays, see that kind of detail that he put in in a short amount of time, I think it'll be pretty obvious for the guys watching. You've been through this before um, when rookies now go with the vets what do you see from the rookies is it a wide-eyed look what what goes on yeah because I think we've all heard the term like be a pro well like they don't even know that yet and so like that's our job to help educate them on all the small details that it goes I think at the end man what are you looking for like competing um, of really playing fast and so I was clear to them to say you're not sure if you're not going fast are you slow or you don't know and I said like that's okay I'd rather you go full speed to make some mistakes and we had a good visit yesterday with some of the rookies questions help you know and I showed him an old clip of Brett Favre and he was talking to a group and um, you know Holmgren was up there and he was talking about nickel defense they went to dime and, and he was like asking Todd Detmer like what's nickel you know and he's Todd was like you don't know and he's like no he's like that's just to take a linebacker off put another DB in he goes that's it and so as simple as it is when you're coming from somewhere new as a rookie my my push for them was ask the questions. You know, we got a whole army of people here to help them and get there. And so over these weeks ahead, this is their developmental time, and we're not going to miss a step of it. And for you personally, this is your back as, as the HC. Um, these, these months, these weeks, how has it affected the way you do your job? I mean, how much are you enjoying this process? Again? I'm having a blast, and that's why, like, days like today, like a first of bringing everybody together, like I have real appreciation for it. And it doesn't take long to be around some of the people here to say, man, I'm proud as hell to be their coach just by what I've seen so far. And so um, that's what I'm looking forward to as we're getting started today. What's the process of installing the offense, and how much can you accomplish, you know, each day? I think the, like, it's a, a more of a passing emphasis. So what we do is we do some runs and some blitzes, um, you know, at a jog through pace so we can get as much of that as we can, knowing that a lot of the out, you know, on the field portion is going to be pass emphasis. So we kind of split it into two ways and then systematically put it all the way through, through nine OTAs through three practice at minicamp. So we just want to make sure we're hitting the right amount at the right time, but a lot of situations to cover so far. 
And, and how does that work with Jaden in terms of, you know, he said, like, does he say, I'm ready for this or this is too much? Or how do you kind of go about figuring out what he's comfortable with and at what pace? Uh, can you repeat the last piece of it? Yeah, like how do you figure out, you know, how to get him where you guys need him oh, to go? Right on. Well, I think reps, that's where the main thing is. How do we have reps for this? And so if we know that we need extra reps, that's what we do. And so that's part of why we have two spot drills where we get extra people to do that. What, it, what intrigued you about Frankie Luva when you signed him, and how do you kind of see him fitting into the defense? Uh, the question was regarding Frankie, and I thought, first things first, I saw, man, like really aggressive play. This was a fantastic blitzer and hitter, and we really wanted to make sure like our identity was a real part of that. And so Frankie represented that. Um, we saw it on the tape. We saw how physical he was, the tackling, the blitzing, and so it was very clear to say how he would fit into what we do. Dan, these OTAs are, are voluntary for, for the veterans, but – basically everybody's here. What does that show you about the buy-in and the commitment already from the vets? Yeah, I think it shows how important it is. They know they're starting you know, a new program together, new offense, new defense, new special teams. And so no one wants to be behind you know, and have anything that would you know, leave them any space uh, as we're competing going forward. So uh, I'm not surprised uh, knowing this group I, as I do, their connection, their chemistry together, that's a big part of it too. Certainly. Certainly for the players, it's an adjustment to get used to you, to get yes. used to the coaching staff, but it's also an adjustment for the coaching staff to get used to the players. How's yes. that all meshing? I think the term you'll hear me say is uh, they're trying to learn the learners. And so what way does this person learn compared to what place this person does? And not everybody does it in the same space. Not everybody does it in the same exact way. So there's some fantastic teachers that are over here on the grass who needs more walkthrough, who needs more video, who needs more one-on-one. -on -one. When you're learning that, uh, now you can customize it, and that's what we're going to do. Dan, Dan, over the weekend, you wore a T-shirt to your availability that garnered some attention. I just I wonder if you could walk through what that was. Sure, and, no yeah. sweat at all. And uh, I think one of the parts of me, you know, taking this job, I was excited to bridge, you know, the past and the present, and what a cool, you know, privilege that is to do. And uh, I also recognized uh, there's a lot of layers to that. So. It was a great lesson for me. And uh, what I really hate is that any attention that would have been taken away from these rookies and like this awesome crew. So um, yeah, no one wants to do that, but uh, great lesson. Any feedback with the shirt from, you know, I heard a lot of former players really liked that you wore the shirt. Did you yeah, get no. any feedback from folks? Nope. Okay. All right. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate All it. All right. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for the heads up. That's, yeah. like, that's why I hate it on this thing. I know, I know.